Hello, everyone. So on my screen, I have two images. They're both SVG files, which are cut files. If you look over to the right side of my screen, you can see both of them indicate that they are cut files. And as always, I have my square in the background. So you can see where when you put your image into Cricut Design Space, you can see where there is not going to be any color. OK, it would only be the color of whatever vinyl you put in. So all this area here that's red, that means that Cricut Design Space is going to go in and it's going to cut like that. It's going to cut just like that all the way around. It's going to cut all these areas out separately. Okay, It's all going to be standing on its own. However, when you look at this SVG file, it's all put together. So the only difference here is this would require you to do what we call layering if you want to get this effect. And that's because you cannot print color onto your um, vinyl unless you have a printable vinyl. And then if you're trying to do heat transfer, um, then it's not going to work unless you layer it. So that means that you would have to have all these different color components or a combination of color components to get this look. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can change things around with these two different SVG files. So this one identifies everything on the right hand side and it's all layered out for you right here on the screen. Okay. So if I wanted to change something, so her lips were initially not that color. <laughs> I changed them to that blue color. So I'm just going to think they were that color. I think it could have been that color. I don't know. All right. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's do this. Upload. And we'll just get the original back in here and size it back down. Because Doris play too much. All right, so I'm just going to unlock the proportions here, and I'm going to change this to 6 and 6. Okay, so that's the initial, that, that's the original picture. Okay, still an SVG file. So you can see what she looked like before I start messing with her. All right, so this is my SVG. So let's say that I want to play around with the colors and um, I want to see what it will look like. So you have all these different layer components here and you can deselect to see what it is because sometimes it's so small you don't really know what it is. But if I deselect it by clicking on this eye, you'll see what goes away, which is the white part of her eyes. You see the white part of her eyes went away. So now when I reselect it, it brings the white part of her eyes back, okay? If I were to deselect here, her lips, part of her lips go away, and then it comes back, okay? So if you want to change the colors, you can do so. All you have to do is to click on that layer and then go up here to the top between your line type and feel and just select whatever color you want it to be, okay? So if you wanted to do some really funky stuff, you know, then by all means, have at it, okay? The only thing you will not be able to change is um, when you click on this line type, you can change it to whatever color, but it's probably not going to look really nice because it's going to put all your black in yellow, and we wouldn't want that unless you... You know, experimenting with some stuff in your life. You're going through some changes and put it on yellow. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. All right, so that is what you can, um, that's one way that you can change your colors around when you contour. If you want to change the body from brown and let's say you want to go with white instead, then there you go. Have at it. Have your way. Now you have... Um, the hair color changed, the lip color changed, and then the body color changed. Now, it doesn't matter what you select on this screen. It only matters what color vinyl you're working with. So I'm going to hide this right here for just a second. Okay, I'm going to hide that for a second. And then when I click on make it, 
Well, of course, stories are going to have my square. You're going to see all the different color components. So this is your white. This is everything that's in black. This is whatever is in that color. And this is what is in that color. And what you would have to do is you want to put your white vinyl on the mat and your cutting machine is going to cut out everything in white and look at all these little bitty pieces in here, guys. And then you have your black. So you put your black vinyl on your mat and it's gonna cut out all the black, so on and so forth. Um, if you're using this for heat transfer, guys, you wanna make sure you click on mirror for each thing if you are using heat transfer. Okay, so I just wanna show you the difference in this file type. It's an SVG just like the next file I'm going to show you. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna get rid of her and then I'm going to bring my square back and I'm going to bring black back the black diamond SVG. All right, now this one is an SVG file as well. However, the line types are not broken out here. They are broken down here in contour. So if I go to contour, This is where I have all my line types now, okay? So if there's anything that I want to remove uh, from the image, this is where I could come and do so. So sometimes when you are, you know, cutting out something and it's taking forever on your Cricut, it's because, or your silhouette or what have you, it's because of all these little pieces, all these little pieces. And if I click on these little pieces, then it's going to remove them from my image. Okay, so I'm just gonna select a couple of them just so you can see. And you have to be careful because you wanna make sure it's not part of like the nose and the mouth and all that good stuff. Okay, and now when I click on the X, You can see that it cleaned up a lot of that, those little excess dots that are in there. Um, I'm gonna bring in this again, just so you can see the difference. Okay. So a lot of that, um, those little small areas were probably all up in the hair area, okay? And you can't tell it because it's black, <laughs> okay? So if I wanted to um, change the color of the outfit on this particular character, so if I wanted to change this from black to a different color or this area up here to a different color, what I would do is duplicate it today. I would duplicate it and then I would come back to contour. Okay, and you can see this is her arm area um, here, this is the whole body. Let's see what this takes. That's the face. That's her arm. That's the other side. So let's see if that's part of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is you have to have at least one area left in the picture and then you can deselect everything else, but you have to have at least one thing showing. So if I now go to back to the screen, you can see that what it will look like and what's actually left over. So if there was a different color that you wanted to play around with, you would just deselect everything else and then put it, 
put it back. Okay, so this is what you would have to do to layer if you want it to change the person around. So I could actually now go in and do brown. So that's how you use the contour to get what you want. But again, this is gonna be a layering project, which means that you would need black and brown vinyl. So if I take away that, now when I go to make it, you're gonna see that you're gonna have two mats. You're gonna put your black vinyl on one mat, cut it out, and then put your brown vinyl on the mat. And then you would have to layer the black, um, or excuse me, layer the brown, and then put the black on top, layer the black on top, okay? So that is what we call layering because it's two different colors that you're working with. And so you have to, um, let's get back here one second. There we go. That's the difference between your SVGs. So your SVGs can work differently, guys. It's all based on the creator, whoever made that particular SVG and uh, where they put the cut lines and, and that type thing. So, um, but yeah, you can go in if you want to just have you a, a white warrior. You can do that as well, okay? Or if you want to get really crazy, let's just turn it up a little bit. Let's make her blue. All right. So, yeah, guys, that's um, when you come out here and you have a SVG like this and you don't see where you can actually um, mess around with individual cut line. Um, not cut. Line, yeah, cut lines. Then it may not be. And the layers, it may be the contour. You just have to make sure that when you select it, even though it looks a full image here, you can get to it by going to contour. If I bring back this image, you can see contour is not an option. So I'll bring her over here. Contour is not an option. And that's because your layers, this is your contour here, line by line. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys to under, understand that there are differences in your SVGs. Now, all SVGs are going to work the same. Um, they just it just depends on how they were put together, how they were made. But you do have access to play around with the colorings by either utilizing the layers here on the right or going to contour based on whichever one you have access to based on that SVG. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about the SVG type, file types, reach out and let me know. As always, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. Have a great day.